An off-voltage regulator, AVR, is a device used in generators with the purpose of automatically regulating voltage, which means that it will turn fluctuating voltage levels into constant voltage levels. Automatic voltage regulators, AVRs, work by stabilizing the output voltage of generators at variable loads, but can also divide the reactive load between generators that are running in parallel, voltage droop, and helps the generator respond to overloads. Putting it as simply as possible, automatic voltage regulators, AVRs, continuously takes input variable voltage ranges and maintains a constant output at a fixed voltage. Unregulated generators, which are generators without an automatic voltage regulator, AVR, are generally unable to sufficiently meet the power needs and requirements for every piece of equipment or device connected to the generator. This is because some unregulated generators are unable to control or regulate voltage, so the terminal voltage will always continue to decrease as the load requirements continue to increase. If the voltage of a generator is not maintained at a constant, fixed rate, the overall generator performance can be negatively impacted and any utilities, equipment, or machinery that is being powered by the generator may also be negatively affected by the unregulated generator. The automatic voltage regulator, AVR, directly correlates to the performance and longevity of your generator, as well as the items that the generator is providing power to, and ensures that the voltage output delivered will be consistent in its load current even if fluctuations were to occur in the background. This helps mitigate and even eliminate the damage that any fluctuations can cause to appliances, machinery, devices, and equipment. What are the functions of an automated voltage regulator, EVR? The most important function of automatic voltage regulators, EVRs, is to automatically control generator voltage and keep the output constant at the appropriate voltage level range for your generator regardless of the current being drawn by the load. AVRs not only help adjust voltages to safe levels, but can also provide surge protection against electrical surges, spikes, and generator overload. As mentioned, automated voltage regulators, AVRs, also help the generator respond to and handle overloads to prevent shorting, and can also divide the reactive load between generators that are running in parallel. Following footsteps, on July 5, 1995, Floyd Sweet suffered a fatal heart attack at the age of 83. A couple of weeks before his death, Sweet said that the automotive industry was testing his power his power unit for use in cars, and that they had a unit running for 5,000 hours. He said he was dealing with people at General Motors, but no one has been able to confirm Sweet's claims. The VTA itself is bogged down in legal problems. But Tom Bearden, who put much of his own time and money into the project, hopes that the VTA can be resurrected so that the world will realize what a pioneer Floyd Sweet was. And despite the confusion surrounding Sweet's affairs at the time of his death, other researchers are continuing this line of research. Confusion and secrecy. The automotive industry may not have been the only potential investor that Sweet was dealing with. At the time of his death, there was some confusion concerning the rights to Sweet's hardware and papers, held by Sweet's second wife, Violet. Bearden says that Sweet signed a number of agreements with a number of backers, and that some of these people have claimed rights to the invention. At least two of these investors say they want Sweet's laboratory equipment, inventions, and technical papers to go into a P. Ropost Floyd Sweet Museum so that other researchers could study the technology. Walter Rosenthal is trying to help all parties work towards an agreement. Despite Bearden's urging, Sweet never had the VTA certified by independent testing. He feared that his life would be snuffed out immediately if he even attempted such a thing, Bearden says.